Imagine walking through the tropical Amazon rainforest. At one point, you have to stop because a large log is blocking your way. Fearless, you come closer to this branch. But just as you try to step over it, it starts moving. It's the largest snake you've ever seen, the green anaconda. Are you that lucky one that has come across the heaviest and one of the longest snakes in the world? Seems so. The reptile looks to be at least three times longer than you and at least twice heavier. You try to recollect everything you know about anacondas. The green anaconda is a member of a family of snakes called constrictors. They're not venomous. Phew! On the other hand, constrictors are known to wrap their bodies around their prey and squeeze, squeeze, until it's too late. After finishing their black deed, these giant snakes open their mouths wide, very, very wide, and then they swallow their whole meal. Anacondas are known for eating wild pigs, capybaras, caimans, reptiles similar to crocodiles that can reach up to 8 feet long. Some anacondas even feast on jaguars and deer, which can grow as heavy as 100 pounds. How do they manage such an impressive feat? The reptile's lower jaw isn't fused, and its parts are held together with stretchy ligaments. The same is true about the upper jaw. It has two independent parts. The anaconda's jaws can move independently of each other. All this allows the snake to open its mouth to more than 150 degrees. In us humans, this angle is 40 degrees at the most. That's why the anaconda can move its mouth over something that's much bigger than its head. Even more unsettling, anacondas have four parallel rows of backwards pointing teeth on their upper jaws. These teeth help the reptiles grab their prey. The lower jaw has two rows for extra grip. Anacondas are ambush predators. That's why you notice the reptile only after almost tripping over it. Anacondas tend to lie in wait for an unsuspecting animal to wander within their reach. When it happens, they lunge, and the rest is history. Anyway, back to your predicament. The only thought in your mind seems to be, is this giant reptile going to swallow me whole? You're trying to get away from it as fast and quietly as possible. Unfortunately, it doesn't help. Even though you don't make any sound, the snake perceives vibrations produced by your movements. In the blink of an eye, the snake lunges at you. It seems to you that the reptile's movements are lightning fast. In reality though, the anaconda speed can be more than 5 miles per hour. Despite their terrifying appearance, these snakes are pretty clumsy on land, but they're way more agile in the water. There, they can move twice faster, at 10 miles per hour. Plus, they can remain underwater for up to 10 minutes at a time. Ugh, where is all this information coming from? Is your brain trying to distract you from the horrifying situation? Which is a massive snake as thick as an adult's arm, coiling around you. It doesn't help that you know the reptile's exact crush force, 90 pounds per square inch. That's like an elephant sitting on your chest. The reptile monitors its prey's heartbeat. That's how it knows the prey has passed away. Usually, animals don't survive the snake's hug. But luckily, you went for a walk in the jungle dressed in a super tough protective suit. So you managed to remain intact. The suit rather conveniently provides you with oxygen too, which increases your chances of staying alive. Your train of thought is interrupted by a giant mouth closing over your head. The snake starts walking its jaws around and over your body, trying to move you down its esophagus, the tube that connects its mouth and stomach. Luckily, the anaconda's fangs are just for holding its prey, not biting, and they don't contain venom. Still, the view in front of your eyes is terrifying. You suddenly realize it's a good thing you're wearing your protective suit. If you weren't, you'd probably drown. No kidding, anacondas produce loads of saliva. They can't chew their food, and swallowing it is a much trickier process for them than for many other animals. Inside the snake's mouth, there are several glands that produce saliva to moisten the prey. The next thing you feel is that something is squeezing around you. Your ribs are screaming in protest. That's because the anaconda has two stages of swallowing. 
first, its muscles squeeze together and force the food down the reptile's body. That's what you're experiencing right now. After that, the anaconda moves and bends its body and spine so that the ribs push against the prey. This pressure makes the food smaller. If you were able to see the whole swallowing process, it would look as if the snake is literally crawling its body over you. You feel uncomfortable. It's too hot. You can't move a limb. Duh. And your body is constantly being bent since the reptile is transporting you into its stomach at the moment. Sometime later, the wiggling stops. It seems like you've made it to your destination. If you could see the snake not only from the inside, but also from the outside, you'd notice that its stomach's terribly swollen. It also has a distinct human-shaped form. It's possible because the snake doesn't have a breastbone. The reptile's ribs are free-moving and can spread apart quite dramatically. Now that you're safely tucked inside the snake, the reptile starts moving. What's going on? The anaconda is just looking for a safe place to digest you. The thing is, your not-so-small weight in its stomach makes it hard for the snake to move, and it's rather unsafe. Plus, the reptile's body is preparing to spend a lot of energy digesting such a large meal. Anacondas, like all snakes, are cold-blooded. They need a warm place to speed up their metabolism. A cold snake can have a big problem with digestion. The anaconda's stomach produces powerful acids and enzymes that dissolve first the softest and then the toughest stuff. If you didn't have your awesome suit protecting you, it wouldn't take long for the snake to digest you. Its stomach acids can even deal with the caiman's tough skin. Thanks to the protection though, you could potentially spend several weeks in the snake's stomach totally unharmed. Unfortunately, that wouldn't solve the problem of the absence of food. And now, the good news! All this situation is totally made up. An anaconda wouldn't want to eat you, or at least swallow you whole. You are too large to make a good meal. If the reptile gobbled you up, it would stay satiated for a month or even more. That's true. But at the same time, you would take too long to digest. This process would make the snake slow and clumsy. And instead of being a feared predator, it would turn into prey itself. If you were careful, the snake would likely not pay much attention to you. But if the reptile was trying to protect itself if it felt threatened, well, no one knows what would happen then. On the other hand, if the snake you came across was not an anaconda, but a python, those are the longest snakes in the world that can grow to more than 30 feet. There have been documented cases of pythons swallowing people. Some of them remain hard to prove because they happened some time before they were reported or because they occurred in remote areas and there were no reliable witnesses. But some cases have been documented and confirmed by authorities. Phew, that sounds disturbing. So, please move away from that log of a snake lying on your way, slowly and carefully. It must be your lucky day. You didn't make the anaconda feel in danger and it isn't interested in lunging at you. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.